Hey, Tash, your bath is about ready. <laughs> you found the television, huh? Look here, I'll turn it on. I am one of the most Turn it on. Materials in the world. Yeah, and yet that. I made some very inexpensive. Pretty cool, huh? Before people learn to These are pictures. Me, yeah, the these are pictures. They're they're not real though. Just pictures. In it is generally believed I was first made by Pretty man. Pretty neat, like all colors. BC. Remote control. Me, you so sand, control. Look, line, turn it soda. off. There. On. <laughs> off. Yeah. On. Off. Good job. You good at this? No. <laughs> Son. Uh, uh, almost. That's called a light. Light. That's a switch. Light switch. You say light light switch. Light switch. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, hey, 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 it's okay, it's okay. It's, a, it's called the doorbell. It means someone's here. It's kind of loud noise. It means someone's at my door. Huh? Hey, sorry I didn't call before. Did you find her? Uh, you mean Tess? Yeah, I had to see for myself. Good God. Hey, you planning to take all day for this? It's got to be thorough. You know, I had you pegged as a... Seedy roadside motel kind of girl, not really a hospital supply closet type. What? Oh, well, wait a minute. I guess that was your identical twin they found in the closet here. No, right? no, no. She's not my twin. She's not any relation to me. I don't know her, and I don't want to have anything to do with her. Can't say I really blame you. I mean, your life has become a disaster. What with a identical twin showing up and stealing your ex while your life is pretty much going down the drain. <sighs> you know what, Chris? You can just go to hell. Jamal, I just, I can't believe you had to deliver that bike all the way to New Jersey. I know, I know. I just wish you could have seen the way I handled Stephen Clay, honey. I handled Stephen Clay. Yeah, but if Ricky ever found out that I was the one who got him back in the van, he would flip out. No, 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 no. It turns out it was impeccable timing. Yeah. Stephen's original drummer got this really tasty offer back in L.A., so it works out perfectly. Hey, Allison. Hi. Hi. I'm sorry to hear about your your father. That was a real shock. Oh, thank you. That's that's very nice of you guys. Appreciate that. It must be a lot easier with your mother in town helping you through it. Thank you, but you I uh, don't know my mother. <laughs> but I I appreciate it anyway. Thank you. Come on, well, why aren't you inhaling those fries like you usually do? <sighs> Out of all the things that I thought that I would hear from my father's will, finding out that I have a brother or sister was not one of them at all. Well, here's the thing. I'm thinking that there's got to be a way to track down whichever it is without getting your mother involved. I know, I know, but it was just the quickest solution to my problem, you know? Offer her something that she wants, money for information. But, but do you really think she's going to go out of her way to help you? Probably not. It's not like it's the first time she's ever disappointed me, and I highly doubt it will be the last. I need a refill. Do you want one? No, I'm sorry. Okay. Did you, or did you not get my message? I did not. What do you got? Well, don't you feel it, cousin? Halloween is in the air, and I just know another freak show is headed for Port Charles. Get We've over here. I'm not done with no you. As a matter of fact, I haven't even gotten started. Then maybe I can help you. Is that right? Who the hell are you? Stephen Clay. Oh, really? So now I can tell you to your face what a stupid fool you are.
the test. I'm Ian. Jack has a television. Is that right? It's it's got moving pictures. <laughs> hey, Tess, your bath is ready. There's a towel in there to dry yourself off and a robe to put on when you're finished. Okay. All right. It's nice to meet you. She's never seen the television. Yeah, there's not a lot about city life she has seen. Try to explain this away by calling her a simple country girl. What's this? X-rays of your broken leg. Burning CEG. It's no sign of trauma anywhere. Not now, not in the past. So what do you call that? Miracle, is it? I don't know. Stranger things have happened. Sure, no, they have, yeah. But on the other hand, you believe that Tess healed your leg. And Brennan, he's been in a coma for I don't know how many years. So it just, it just took Tess to come in and heal him just like that, that's it? Maybe it was a coincidence. One miracle, maybe two. I don't think so. it's something altogether different. What do you mean? If she has healing powers, I want to find out about him. Two Libby's? Please, tell me you're kidding. I wish I could tell you I'm kidding, but I'm not kidding. But now, Tess looks a lot like Libby. Exactly, actually. But they're not really alike, you know? Okay, okay. So, so what does this have to do with the weird vibes we've been having? I don't know. But then again, maybe. You know, if you think about it, Doc's illness did come on kind of sudden, you know? And Allison's dad dying and Elizabeth coming back to Port Charles. Not to mention the fact that now Tess has got this thing coming into Port Charles. She looks like Libby. And Brennan... I don't think you know him, but he he was in a coma, and all of a sudden he came out of a coma. And, cousin, that music that drives us both insane, it's very strange. However, maybe it's just Mercury, you know, in retrograde. I don't think so. Come on, I think these things are all connected. I don't know. I don't know. I just can't get a read on it. I mean, maybe I'm having a hard time adjusting, being back to normal life, but whatever it is, it's messing with my intuition. What? You told me you still had your magic. You told me that. Yeah, well, obviously not enough to predict the latest bombshell that's been dropped on Allison. Oh, no. What? You have a brother or sister out there? Yeah. Um, I I thought maybe you would be interested, you know, because of the way that you found out about, about Casey. Yeah, well, I, I hope you have a happier ending than I did. Yeah, I, I do, too, if that's okay to say. No. But I'm not really sure where to start looking. You know what? I, I found these um, really great websites that help locate missing family members, and I will give those to you. Okay, that would be a really good start. I would really appreciate that. Are you working on an assignment? It's a song. Oh, really? For Stephen Clay. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm so serious. He, he signed me to write songs with him. Isn't that cool? You guys got no clue about what real talent is because you're all so caught up in your egos that you can't see beyond your own stupid face. Are you done? No. No, I'm not done. I'm just getting worked up right now, all right? What, do you guys get a kick out of jerking me around? What for? All I've done is show you what a true talent I am. I'm good. I am damn good. Maybe too good for you. Is that it? Are you afraid? Are you threatened that I might reveal you for what you truly are? I think now's probably a good time for you to stop. No, I think I'd like to hear this. His honest opinion, get it all out. Oh, the honesty? Opinion. What the hell do you know about honesty? You're nothing but a hoax, hiding behind who knows what, working on this whole mystique BS, when all you're trying to do is you're trying to hide because you're afraid that the whole world is going to find out what you really are, which is a fraud and a hoax. And you think you can save me? Yeah. Maybe. Maybe? Oh, you're not so sure now? Oh, no. No, I'm damn sure, because if you really had any talent, you wouldn't have to hide. It's a lucky thing that you're drunk. <laughs> yeah, it's lucky for you, buddy. I can fix that. There. Should we start this all over again? What's he like? Stephen Clay? Mm-hmm. He's intense. He is? Mm-hmm. Okay, because I love his voice, but what does he look like? He's tall, he has dark hair, and, oh, he has unbelievable eyes. Nice. 
this really heavy-duty sex appeal that it's no wonder he's such a star. <laughs> you're fine with Jamal. I mean, you guys aren't... You're not thinking oh, no, about no, 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 no. We are very cool. Oh, okay. Yeah. I I'm crazy about Jamal. Yeah, and he knows that. And Stephen Clay... Stephen Clay is all about the music. You know, he's amazing. He has these... I don't know, this deep appreciation for my lyrics. He loves them. That's good. That's really fantastic. Yeah, it's insane. And, uh, you know, it just goes to prove that anything can happen around here, including you finding your brother or sister. And, you know, Nelson, I I really think that's going to happen. Can you imagine fi finding out your father died and then finding out you have a brother or sister somewhere out there all in the same week? No. Her little head must be spinning. But, you know, this makes me think so there's probably a connection in all this. I, I, I don't get it. Okay, okay, think about it. All these things in common, what do they have? Family. Like Kevin and Ryan. And Livy and Ted. Te yes, and, yes. And, and then Allison and, and whoever this other person is. You're right, okay, it's a, it's, it's a pretty big coincidence. So tell, tell me more about this test. Where'd you come from? Um, I don't know. I don't think anybody knows. She's had this... These strange sheltered life, sort of living in the woods, it's like she's a wild child. And, and, and she's really Livy's double? Physically, yes. She really does look exactly like her, but inside, I don't think so, because when you look at Tess, she radiates innocence, and you look in her eyes, and there's this sweetness to her. Definitely not Livy. Okay, here we go. Just gonna need your signature, and my signature. Check a couple final tests, and all set. Good. Can't be soon enough for me. Oh, you gotta have some patience, Libby. Sometimes the wheels of hospital bureaucracy grind along at a tedious pace. Yeah, well, you always have been a little slow, Chris. <laughs> you know, it's really no mystery to me now why my brother would trade you in for a better model. Better? Chris, that, that thing can't even speak. I mean, have you seen her hair, her fingernails? She's disgusting, a total disaster. Yeah, but she's got the same down in my body and pretty face. Of course, I guess she would be the warm-blooded version. Yeah, all the perks and all the garbage. Lucky Jack. Yeah, Lucky Jack, if you think I'm even a tiny bit threatened by that freak, I know who Jack loves in his heart, and it's not some poor impersonation of me. You think? I'm the original, Chris. I'm the original, and you better not forget that. Okay, well, you're free to go now. No extra charge for the torment. Look, I know you mean well. But you're not going to make a guinea pig out of her. I'm not, Chris. I'm not going to hurt her. I just want to take her someplace no, we can... She's not going anywhere. Think of the possibilities, Jack. If she has healing powers... And she has no one right now, and I feel like it's my job to protect her. I understand that. You know I would never... I know, intentionally hurt her. How it frightened her. Yeah. Like, I actually talked to Tess about those powers. Okay, and she had no idea what I was talking about. Well, maybe she needs some help trying to figure out what it is. Okay, maybe she does. But all I do know is that she's a beautiful, innocent girl who is trying to adapt to our society and is scaring the hell out of her. And then she bumps into Livy, who happens to look just like her, and she's really freaked out right now. And I think to take her out of here is a big mistake, so I think she needs to lay low for a while and stay away from everybody. I get that. I do. And I think we both agree that she's a very nice, very special girl. And she's fragile right now. She's gonna get stronger. What are you gonna do? Just keep her in the house? I'm not saying it's forever. You can't keep this a secret. Okay. Well, you think about what you want to do and, and let me know. Okay. Nice. I really deserve that. No, what I think is you came on my territory and you started hurling drunken insults at me. Maybe I was a little overserved. No, I think you were drunk. And all I did was cool you off. Right. What I still don't get is why you guys dumped me from the band. Well, if you feel bad about that, you're gonna feel like a real ass after this. 
When you get home, you'll find a message from us on your answering service. Saying what? We've had a unexpected opening. Wait a minute. Are you telling me you need a new drummer? I chose you. Are you kidding about this? I mean, tell me right now if you're messing with me. Of course, if you think we're a, a bunch of no-talent frauds, then we... Hey, 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 no, 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 stop, stop. You know, I'm gonna stop drinking because when you drink, you say things that... You know what? I'm gonna take these drumsticks home and I'm gonna run and tell all my friends and I'm gonna start practicing. Um, and by the way, thank you. Thank you for uh, not looking for anybody else. And thanks. You know what? It'll never happen again. I, I promise. Marissa is gonna be so stoked about this, really. I can't wait to tell her. She's gonna be psyched. You are sure about this? You have to give something to get something. And I won't forget this. I don't forget anything. How long did... Where's the man? Ian, Ian had to leave. What did he want? He wanted to meet you. But I told him right now is not a very good time. He can come back. That's right. Here. Here. <laughs> to this home. Nice. Hey, that's probably Ian. I'm sure he left something in. Okay, I'm sure it's just Ian. You're gonna listen to what I have to say, Jack, because this isn't gonna... But you gave him my clothes, Jack? You're letting that freak wear my stuff? But will they come back? Hey. hey! You guys aren't gonna believe this. Stephen Clay just offered me the drumming gig in his band. Oh my god! That's Are so you cool. serious? This is gonna be great! Oh, that you have to tell us so that we can come see yeah, you. Yeah, absolutely, you bet. Oh, that's awesome. Good for you. Thanks. That's cool. <laughs> so he changed his mind. I kind of almost blew it. I showed up drunk and I told him what I thought about him to his face. You didn't? Yeah. But they were cool about it. Both him and Joshua, I guess they realized that they really wanted me. Well, who could blame them? You definitely got the chops. <laughs> Hey, you guys will never believe this. Marissa and Ricky, they are a part of the Stephen Clay experience. <laughs> That's the band that does the song we don't like loose. You mean that song? It's a small world, huh? Yeah. I'm getting the small world with us. This place needs a lot of work to get ready for tonight. I know you can handle it. Do you think anyone will show up? How many times have I told you? It's all in the presentation. So, Frank, you're gonna uh, bust up the shroud and scare the kitties for Halloween? Watch your answer. We'll be handing out suckers to the kids. Mm. Oh. Oh, Stephen Clay on the Stephen Clay experience. I invite you to celebrate Halloween. It's never too late to party. Come as you are. Stay as long as you want. The drinks, the food, the masks, and the decadence of our masks. Go to the Fort Charles box and follow the screams of warehouse number 13. It's your lucky number. It's your lucky night. What do you got? Yeah. Now, is that guy cool or what? <laughs> Stephen Clay, you know, I was just hanging out with him. Marissa and I are, uh, Working with his band. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's fantastic, Ricky. I knew you had it in you. Oh, well, now I guess we have to go to the party. Each passing out candy. I totally want to go do this. Look at how cool that is. Yeah. It's really cool. It's amazing. It's incredible. The band that keeps playing that song that's like nails on a chalkboard to me suddenly shows up in Fort Charles. Let's us all to a party. I know what I have to do. I'll see you. Just how I was looking for you. I am so glad you found me. Come on. Where are we going? There is a party that I am not a to. Stay tuned for scenes from the next Port Charles. Naked eyes.
Or Charles. Why settle for imitation when you can have the real thing? I just got the coldest drafts moving across my body. Did you miss any of Port Charles this week? Be there for the SoapNet Marathon of all this week's Port Charles episodes, Saturday at 3.30 p.m. Log on to SoapNet.com for your complete schedule. SoapNet, soap watching made easy.